good morning i am dr vijay prakash and today i am going to tell you how to do flasking procedure for the waxed upper and lower dentures so first we are going to do the lower denture we'll take the flask see whether this cast your wax denture first thing which we need to see is whether it is not or not touching the the rims of the flask so once we have space there then we are sure okay it will not interfere in your uh, uh, placing the upper member of the flask another thing which you need to see is whether the wax denture is properly sealed to the cast or not yes it is sealed so we can proceed with the procedure of flasking we will mix dental stone a uh, dental plaster in an appropriate mix and then we are going to start the flasking procedure the mix plaster would be placed on the lower member of the flask like this now whenever we are doing this we need to make sure that uh, air bubble incorporation is not there for that reason we are going to place it on the vibrator reason we are going to place it on a vibrator on the vibrator Position the cast in the center like this. Just remove the excess of plaster. First of all, make sure that there are no undercuts whenever we are doing flasking because that will is going to interfere which is on the periphery of the rim should be removed when it is when your uh, plaster is setting because this will anyhow interfere when you are trying to close the flask so make sure that it is not there so we need to remove at the same time you need to see that there is no undercuts so we wait for the plaster to set meanwhile we check that if there is any undercut you can take a scale and you see that there is no undercut 
all around and if we see that I have given an angulation of 45 degree so that there is no undercut so whenever you are doing flasking make sure that it is like this okay. 45 degree angulation we will check with the upper member whether there is any interference ok it is fitting well and it is also having adequate space all around so next step is we apply cold mold seal make sure that there is no plaster on the wax surface and you don't touch the wax or the teeth with cold mold seal so apply a coat of cold mold seal like this allow this to dry and then we can apply a second coat now the purpose of uh, cold mold seal is it does not allow water from uh, the dental plaster or dental stone to interfere with your curing or interfere during the packing procedure or and also it does not allow the monomer to penetrate into the gypsum product or the cast the mold part we apply the second coat of cold mold seal it has to be a thin layer all around wherever you have the invested plaster allow this to set once the cold wool seal have dried we position the upper member so there are two ways in which we can pour there could be a second pour there is two pour technique or a three pour technique in a two pour technique you only mix a mixture of dental stone and plaster in the ratio of two parts is to one part and you completely pour and then place the uh, upper lid in a three pour we will uh, pour it till the occlusal uh, end of uh, the occlusal surface of the denture we will expose that and then we are going to place the third pour so today we will be doing a three pour technique the mix of stone and plaster is then poured like this make sure that there is no air bubble incorporation we place vibrator all the incisal and occlusal surface should be visible rest all should be in the pore
expose the occlusion and the incisal surface like this When the plaster is wet, what we need to do is give a kind of once it has uh, set, you just make some retentive grooves like this so that with the second and third pour your lentil stone do not separate so this kind of grooves we are going to make so we will be painting with uh, separating media except on the exposed occlusal surface of the teeth so we will be using separating media we apply with the brush but not as I told you on the occlusal surface of the teeth even if you touch on the occlusal surface make sure that you wipe it out with your cotton so once the cold mold seal what we have applied is dried then we are ready for the third pour so we will make a mix of plaster and stone and then we are going to do a third pour mm -hmm. so we do the third pour sure that the entire area is covered then we apply the lid like this and you have the axis which flows out hold it in place there should be a good metal to metal contact We remove the axis, allow this to set. With the initial set, we will keep it on the clamp and allow it to set. Meanwhile, we are going to do the flasking for the upper wax denture. Flasking of both the upper and lower dentures, then we are going to place it on the clamp and then we are going to close the clamp make sure that you don't apply too much of force 
should be just adequate because then chances of fracture of the mold is there like this we'll keep it for bench uh, cooling till the entire setting is done and then we can proceed with the wax elimination procedure thank you thank you for watching the video